What is it like to be a six-year-old starting primary school in a low-income country? How likely is it that you will become literate and gain a solid education? Unfortunately, the reality is it's more likely that your school system will fail you. We've done a better job getting children into school under Educational for All, but the quality in the schools is very poor. The reality is there are 250 million children, 40% of the school-going primary age children, that lack basic reading, writing, and numeracy skills. UNESCO estimates that half of them will drop out by the fourth grade. Once that happens, it's virtually impossible to catch up. What does education look like in low-income countries? When the country's room to read works in, it looks like this, dark, overcrowded, crumbling classrooms, two to three students sharing a textbook, woefully undertrained teachers overburdened with crowded classrooms. This is what passes for education. You know, the reality is governments are really challenged to deliver high quality education to all of their little citizens. And when those little citizens grow up and are illiterate or barely literate, the cycle of poverty continues. Chronic underinvestment in education has resulted in one out of 10 people on this planet being unable to read or write today. We believe at Room to Read and we know through our work over 15 years that we can do better as a world. We intervene in two critical stages in education, in the early primary years when literacy is acquired and in the transition for girls from primary to secondary school. And through our strong partnerships with government schools, we know that we can deliver higher quality education at an effective low price point per child. The challenge is, how do you do that and how do you transform schools? Well, let me walk you through how we do that through the eyes of Bizwa, a first grader in Nepal. He is the eldest son of an illiterate single mother who struggles on a dollar a day to educate and feed her children. We want Bizwa to grow up to be an independent reader. In a room to reads world, that means he has both the regular skills and habit of reading. So how do we do that? Well, first we focus on supplementing the government curriculum by creating great materials that allow children to interact, to engage with education different. They need to be able to practice in those early years. And we focus on teachers. Teachers need additional training workshops, they need on-site coaching that Room for Read provides so that they can really improve how they're engaging and having more participatory classrooms. And then we flood the zone with books through great school libraries. Many of the books are published through our partnerships with local language authors and illustrators. We need to partner with parents and communities, schools and teachers to ensure that we're really focusing on making education primary. We have now transformed over 17,000 schools across the seven countries in Asia and three countries in Africa that Room to Read works in. And critical to our model is that we have strong local staff in Room to Read that are deeply ingrained in the educational systems, all local nationals working to reform their educational systems in their country. So what systemic change are we seeing at Room to Read? Well, we're very committed to collecting data, monitoring and evaluating our programs to ensure that they're working and to tweaking and refining them when we find things not working. Now in India, where there's a law that all primary schools have to have a school library, we are training with the government on our best practices in library management and scaling, the government of India is scaling at their own cost. In Cambodia, we have shown in the Khmer language that, more, that in room to read schools with uh, our program can read more words per minute than children in government schools without our program. Same government schools, but what's different is a new way of addressing it. Now the government has rewritten their grade one textbook alongside room to read so that all children have access to our program in Cambodia. You know, the reality is we now at room to read are teaching and improving the education of over a million children and new children a year. By the end of 2015, we'll reach over 10 million children cumulatively with Room to Read's programs through the government schools that we work with and partner with. But this is only a drop in the ocean of the 250 million that we need. So we're challenging ourselves to think about how do we collaborate more? How do we scale faster without having to scale Room to Read the organization faster? So I'm excited to share the news that we have a new offering, Room to Read Accelerator, which is all about providing technical assistance and capacity building to other local governments and organizations so that they can partner with us to scale Room to Read-like programs. It's about collaboration, it's about working together. And through Room to Read Accelerator, we will work together on a project cycle of two to three years so that other organizations and governments can scale the work on their own. We do not want to lose another generation to illiteracy. 
We as a world know how to teach children to read and write, but we need to be more committed to doing a better job faster so that every child, no matter what circumstances they are born into, grows up in a community with a great quality school that allows them to gain a solid education so they can reach their full potential in life. So please join our movement. Thank you so much.